Welcome to the Hewlett Packard Enterprise Around the Storage Block video blog. I'm your host, HPE Storage Guy Calvin Zito. A couple weeks ago, we introduced some new HPE Nimble Storage. We are here at Vimon. Chuck Roman, longtime HPE employee working in the tech marketing. Why don't you introduce yourself to folks? Yeah, hi, I'm Chuck Roman. I'm with the HPE Nimble Storage Technical Market Engineering Team and I'm gonna talk about the AF20 today. So AF20, uh, for people that don't know, this is the All Flash, the new All Flash platform. That's correct, this is the uh, entry level product on our All Flash platform that we just updated last week. Okay, so why don't we uh, take a look at the inside? Okay. So what are we looking at here, Chuck? Well, this is the front bezel of the All Flash array, uh, and it's very familiar to Nimble customers in the past. We do have uh, the new HPE element as a, an aspect on the the front of the bezel. It's, it's beautiful. Different. The color's a little bit different. It's the HPE green. If you pull it off and turn it around, you'll see that we still have the LEDs that will illuminate had this been actually powered up and running at the time. Yep. Okay. Uh, this is the all-flash model, so we have uh, the same dual-flash carriers we had in the previous generation. And with the new hardware, we've actually rotated these 180 degrees, so they're facing the other direction. But we have two banks of flash drives. Uh, in the array. The top row in each of the dual flash carriers comprise one bank and the bottom row comprises the other. And you can take these out independently. Or if you need to remove the whole flash carrier. Uh, other than that, it's very similar to the previous generation if you're looking at it from the front. Yep, so but I see we got you know, 24 carriers, each one holds two SSDs, so 48 in a single enclosure. That's correct. Maximum 48. Right. We actually have a, the minimum uh, configuration for this. We have a product, the AF20Q, for, for quarter populated. Okay. And if, if we're uh, talking about that model, this first column of drives will be populated, and the others will just be uh, uh, dummy carriers in there. To right. But upgrade, the upgradable, they could add them to them you later. Can, you can upgrade, uh, you can add three more columns of drives to get a, uh, um, the full configuration. Then you can add additional storage on after you fill the array shelves. Okay, how about if we look at the array controller? We can do that. The back side of the array, we see the redundant components. We have the redundant power supplies. These are both uh, 3,000 watt power supplies. You can remove one at a time and the array can continue to run uh, just off the power supplied by one of, one of these uh, supplies. And then we have redundant controllers as well. We have uh, an active standby controller architecture in the Nimble arrays. And I'm gonna take out one of these. Uh, since the array is not powered up, neither one of them is an active controller right now, so I don't have to be too picky about which yep. one I take out. And as you can see, it's a fairly deep controller here. I'm just gonna set it on top of the array. Okay. Now we have a lot of features inside. I'm gonna take off this plastic uh, airflow cover here. You can see the two CPUs. You can see the, the dims for the memory for the controller and also the non-volatile RAM in here. It's powered by uh, this uh, Faster here to provide power in case of a power failure. Okay. Now to back it up. Uh, back here we have a really good feature, the toolless NIC cage. Uh, so on the Nimble controllers, we have uh, PCI slots to allow you to, to choose which uh, host interface you want. We offer iSCSI and Fiber Channel as options. And we have here, uh, in, in this particular controller, we have one of the PCI cards installed. You have slots for two more up here. It's very simple. This thumb screw here to remove the, the cage. Look on the inside, you can see that. Yep. Um, there's another thumb screw here that would enable me to take out these slot covers and make it very easy to put in the additional NICs reattach them and go forward. If yep. you look in here while I have this off, uh, you can see we've got um, the SAS connections if we will have expansion shelves for this array. Uh, they lead out to these SAS ports. We have some uh, management, onboard management ports um, on the controller, the motherboard itself, uh, for uh, 
uh, management diagnostics. We also have the, the boot uh, drive there. And that's where the Nibble OS resides. And, uh, we, we boot off of that. Um, it's kind of just a bootstrap process. And then we uh, go over to some additional elements we have on the, the RAID storage itself. So one of the questions we got a lot when we launched this was, you know, we talked about being NVMe ready, uh, storage class memory ready. How is a customer that buys this product going to be able to easily upgrade to those technologies? Well, it's going to be uh, kind of a, uh, two answers to that. One, it's easy for us as uh, HPE to upgrade the controllers because of the modular architecture in these new controllers. We have daughter cards. We have um, kind of plug-in aspects that we can uh, replace easily with new technologies as they become available and ready for use. Uh, and then it's a matter of uh, replacing the controllers at the customer side. So we're not going to have them take their controllers apart and put right. new pieces in. We're just going to ship them new controllers. And because we have an active standby architecture, they just go in, they replace the standby controller with the new one, uh, fail over to that and then replace the other controller with the new technology and, and they're up and running and they're not disruptive upgrade. Well, Chuck, appreciate your time. This has been a great look at the new uh, Nimble AF arrays, the all-flash arrays, and uh, appreciate you taking a few minutes to tear one down for us. Oh, glad to do it. It's uh, Tearing down is easy. It's putting it back together that's the hard part. Oh, well, you better hurry up because we're going to have customers coming I by here we'll in a minute. I think we'll have to cut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. Thank you, Calvin. Always love hearing from you on Twitter, where you can find me as Calvin Zito. Our blog is at hpe.com slash storage slash blog. Until next time, thanks for joining me.